where they did the time jump, right? Now, I wish that they didn't do something like that because I really like the girl who played Renera, and I would definitely love to know what is your favorite episode so far, but what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo. Yo, but go ahead and click the link down below in the description to my Patreon so you can see my full-length reaction to this series, any other TV shows I do, and the movies I do. But let's go ahead and get to episode six, everybody. Let's get it. God, that looks so good. Are y'all just gonna show us when they're getting it in? Oh, I was about to say, they ain't. They gonna show us that instantly. Oh. Ew. Oh, oh my God, those sounds. Ew. Yo, that sound like an alien, bro. What is that? Boy, princess. So I'm guessing Renera, she's 25 right now? The queen has requested that the child be brought to her. Why? Man, y'all gonna have her stand already? That's some strength right there. Respect. Oh, snap. I did not know what that was until they cut it. Shh. <laughs> She look like she's really about to pass out. The afterbirth. Whoa, my God. Yo, oh, damn. Golly, what an intro. <laughs> we are turning back, all right? She can come to us. I mean, it's already too late. You already halfway. Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. Damn, I, I can't imagine the pain that she's going through. And then she probably has like a whole bunch of fluids going down her leg and stuff. Just feels so uncomfortable. But the fact to walk through the freaking castle like this and having these people just look at you. Yo, that's, that's savage. She don't give a damn what these people think. Renera, you should be resting after your labors. Man, shut your big headed ass up, I man. I have to tell you, fetch a cushion for the princess. Well, you got an upside down triangle head. Allison had a glow up. I like that dress though. That dress is fire. What happy news this morning. Indeed, your grace. Golly. Where is he? Where is my grandson? Man, he don't want to see your ghoulish looking self. Dang, look like he lost weight too. Sturdy. You will make a fearsome night. Yo, what disease does this man have, man? He'll be called Joffrey. Joffrey? Oh, hell no. Do you keep trying, Selena? Sooner or later, you may get one who looks like you. What the hell? That's crazy, bro. This girl, Allison, is fake as hell, man. Just disrespectful. We chose an egg for the baby. Ah. <laughs> okay, those are obviously not his and every kids. Every day an egg leaves the dragon pit princess, I thought it best to escort the lads. Elena and I thank you, Commander. Another boy, I heard. You know, well, that's good. You know, she's building her a little army, you feel me? Uh -uh. Back to the dragon pit for you two. Come on. Will they send out a search party? So I do know that he's homosexual, so I wonder who is his lover now. And he's obviously the father. I wonder why nobody's questioned that. But I mean, I know Allison knows that them kids isn't uh, that one guy's. I forgot his name. Dracardis Vermax. Damn, that was real messed up to hear the sheep screams, man. We found one for you. A dragon. It better not be a piece of shit. The disrespect. You gonna disrespect the real Targaryen? Come on, bro. I'm your brother, man. How the brown heads got a dragon before the white heads? That's crazy. Boy, you better dip. Are you serious? You get your clumsy butt up. Golly. I have to believe that in the end, honor and decency will prevail. I mean, you the queen, you got the power. Why don't you just tell people what's up? Are you freaking kidding me, man? We really having a boy's moment. This is weird. <laughs> would anybody do something like this? Just gonna freaking jerk off over the city? Vanir will ascend the throne and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So? Oh, 
You are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? Because he over here masturbating over the city, bro. Yeah, I did a terrible job raising this little dude. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I won't. You are the challenge. Mm. You are the challenge, Egon. Mm. Simply by living and breathing. Yo, this girl right here is carrying this episode, bro. Is that one day you will be our king? Shoot, I know that boy went limp <laughs> after that. Boy, scared. This dude a bitch, man. How y'all raised a bitch ass son? This dude's a Targaryen. Oh, I like that. What an entrance to the character of Dame in this episode, bro. That was fire. Damn, her dragon is huge. How the heck did she get a bigger dragon than you, bro? I had a feeling that they was gonna get together though after the last episode. She was lusting after that dude. Salon Carrie Jaira. They got like five kids on their own. It's all girls. Wow. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone. We don't belong anywhere. Yeah, I wonder why y'all not in Valeria. Soften your knees. <laughs> Feet light. <laughs> Boy, not even trying, man. Pick each other up. You'll certainly form a lifelong bond, wouldn't you agree? Yo, the makeup right here is so good. It seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention. Shoot, why don't we throw them hands, sir? I can embarrass you in front of your kids, bitch. Foul play. I'll deal with him. Chest like his eyes are this is a pretty awkward moment. But these people in Westeros is kind of stupid if they don't know what's going on. They don't be paying attention. Interest in the princing's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin or a son. You should have knew that he was going to come in with the punch, bro. You should have been ready for that. Good way to prove a point, bro. Your intimacy with the Princess Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death for her, for the children. Damn, bro, this show has gotten so good, man. Golly, why would Rhaenyra put herself in this situation? I guess she didn't think that the kids would turn out like this. Pretty much like how I felt. My dear wife. Oh, y'all was about to get it in? I fell down. <laughs> Sorry, we interrupt y'all a little uh, booty snatching. War is a foot again in the Stepstones, Rhaenyra. It's War is almost a foot here. There is a Tyroshi general there, a giant, who dyes his beard purple and wears women's frocks. <laughs> what the heck is going on there? <laughs> Seems like that's completely out of place. Rhaenyra has delivered another son. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the city watch? <laughs> he seems to have left that detail out. Yeah. Seem like he the only one that's actually paying attention, and he's not even there. The man I married is more than this. We should address the latest developments in the Stepstones, my lords. Oh, ever be shut of that blasted place. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking the exact same thing, bro. Been like 15 years just talking about the damn Stepstones. What is so big about the Stepstones, man? Boy, look like the daddy of the dude in a uh, scary movie too. With his ugly ass. I have come to resign my position as hand of the king. My son Harwin has disgraced himself. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. I think this is gonna cause even more drama. You gonna take this dude away from his kids? I am prepared to offer you mercy if you're prepared to pay a little price. No, no, please don't show it. Oh my goodness. Obviously, she's pushing, bro. Look at her. She's putting all her strength into it. Child will not come. So I guess you gotta do a C-section? Uh, I do not want to see another one of these, man. They are No, don't do that. I know she's probably going through a lot of pain, but like, come on, don't do that. Yo, the design for that dragon is badass. She obviously didn't want to bring another one of Damon's kids into the world. Lena! Oh snap, he did it! Wow, I haven't seen Damon that distraught since the first episode, man. That was so tragic. Oh my god, man. Rest in peace. I'll be a stranger when we meet again. <laughs> oh, 
That's one of the things I love about acting, man. You look at the eyes, the eyes can tell you so much. And you just look at Renera's eyes. She just said a whole monologue right there with her eyes. Explained a lot of emotions. Is Holland Strong my father? Am I a bastard? You should, you should have figured out that that's your dad by now, bro. You already know when the kids find out, they definitely gonna be spilling the beans. But just look at your hair. Like, come on now. And then the fact that she had him say goodbye to y'all, like, come on. We're finished here. We're leaving. What have you offered, Jason and Helena? I made a spectacle. They whisper about me in the corridor as well. Oh my, she's gonna make herself even more guilty doing something like this. You're gonna leave right after he leaves? Yo, this piece of music right here they playing is fire. Yeah, I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. Damn, you gonna kill your own brother and your father? You know, it is the Game of Thrones. I <laughs> leave. <laughs> this show is fire. I assume you will write to your father now? I did not wish for this. <laughs> I feel certain you will reward me. This dude right here has just became one of my favorite characters just like that, bro. Yo, that's Game of Thrones, bro. Come on, man. We going over this whole storyline and everybody just like, oh, what's going on here? Like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> How can you not tell? This intro kind of reminds me of Underworld. Well, I really wish that dude Damon would have actually listened and talked to her, man. She did not deserve any of this. I feel like this is probably gonna cause a lot of tension between both the families. <laughs> At a funeral? Come on, Damon. How much of an asshole is this dude, bro? Every single time, he just surprises me with that. This is a beautiful funeral. And I love the music. I'm like really surprised that she would even show her face. Your little cousins have lost their mother. Could use a kind word. Man, if she would have came to me and said that, I'd be like, bro, yeah, they could use a kind word. I can use a kind meal. Where the food at? Like, damn, what's taking so long? What would your mama say? Boy, hungry. Weaving dragons of thread. She grabbed that shell like she saw a vision. Laris is the new Lord of Harrenhal. Dude, so that should be his reward right there. He talking about, oh, you're gonna reward me in the future? Bro, you a lord now. It means everyone's dead. The music they get playing right here in this funeral scene is making me want to play the Game of Thrones Telltale game. Cause this sounds like the type of music that they will be playing in that game. Brother. Why would you do that in public, bro? You couldn't do it more subtle like? Damn, you ain't gonna let your son grieve? Let him grieve. Seems like everybody in this funeral is just minding other people's business instead of their own. Now, I know a lot of people will say that they feel like this scene is going on for a little bit too long, but for me, I feel like they're just building up the tension between all the characters. He denied her. Damon did what he thought best. Lena needed our maesters. The surgeons in Pentos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The surgeons in Pentos are as well trained as our maesters. Bro, stop with the BS, bro. Like, it's your daughter. To conceive a child, we performed our duty as best we could. Mm, okay. But to no avail. Ah, uh, that boy couldn't get up. Shame. Doesn't matter about joy. The matter is about getting the task done. Y'all could have did it three way. And I think that probably would have helped. You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Yes. And look at what my life became without you. Are you serious? Golly, so she fell in love with that dude. And they didn't even fully have sex. And you know, she was young, so. Yo, I didn't think this show was gonna go this heavy into the incest, bro. Yo, I definitely feel like I'm intruding right here. 
hell were those socks or was that pantyhose? What the hell happened to that dude's shoulder? Oh, that boy put it through the hole. Okay. Boy still get his pants on. Ooh, I like that. That has to be one of the coolest looking dragons I've ever seen. So that reminds me of uh, Avatar right there. Told you you need to put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't know to feel scared or to feel alive, bro. Are they gonna play the theme, bro? I wanna hear the Targaryen theme. There we go, there go the theme. Beautiful scene, bro. Loved every second of it. Why would you land right there, bro? Just freaking destroyed that whole thing. It's him. It's me. That's what I'm talking about. I'm him. Vega has a new rider now. <laughs> oh, now he's feeling himself. Now he's feeling himself. This dude been feeling like a bitch the whole show since we've known him. Now he's feeling himself. Yeah, jump his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Stomp him out. <laughs> Bitch ass boy, you serious? You gonna take her dragon? That's her mama's dragon, bro. That's disrespectful. Why didn't y'all tell an adult? Oh, oh, oh. Yo! Oh my god. Damn, that's gonna be a badass scar. Boy gonna be looking like Anakin Skywalker. Boy gonna be looking like Geralt. The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. He called us bastards. I got too many people in this room, bro. My they know these. They should not be knowing all this. Yes, where is Sir Lano? I do not know your grace. That boy getting it in. Entertaining his young squire's adventure. <laughs> yeah, y'all spitting out everybody business, bro. Y'all need to chill out. I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. Whoa, Allison. <laughs> Yo. Like he is your son, Viserys. I would have said take oh, like a couple fingers, but golly. And then you trying to show off in front of all these people, bro. Y'all need to kick these people out. Bring me the Eye of Lucerius, Valarian. Mother. Alison. You will do no such thing. Stay your hand. No, you have sworn to me. As your protector, my queen. Golly. <laughs> I'm loving this show, bro. That's a tough situation, bro. Who would y'all side with? Would y'all side with your wife? Allison, or your daughter? What the hell? And now you take my son's pie. And to even that, you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? I mean, he's, he's gonna be looking badass. You feel me? People are gonna fear him. But now they see you as you are. Oh, she cut a vein. She has shown her true colors, bro. Saying, I knew that this show was gonna have both of these girls or these women now having beef with each other. That should not have happened, bro. I think that they were just trying to show off in front of everybody that was in there. The king should have kicked all those people out. That was none of their business. Assaulted the princess. But at the same time, you know, you are in the right for uh, standing up for your cub, you feel me? It was an ugly thing, I regret it. We play an ugly game. Hell yeah, Game of Thrones. What will he say to me? He'll forgive you. Especially if you give him that sloppy toppy, you feel me? Keep a grip on your passions. And I promise you in time, you and I together will prevail. I knew it. <laughs> I knew this dude had a freaking end goal here. You will scar, but the wound will heal. Valerian still cuts clean. You saw that, man. That cut looked like a freaking JJ. Had the flaps and everything. That will not be necessary, but your devotion is not gone unnoticed. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend with not only skill, but discretion as well. Okay, yeah. This girl, she definitely got into the Game of Thrones, bro. We could not marry unless Leonor were dead. Damn, you gonna set him up like that? Come on, man, this dude is a nice guy. Why don't like fake his death and just send him off somewhere? I've heard about your exploits in the Stepstones. So Carl, what are you asking of me, my lord? A quick death. One with witnesses. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What the hell? To be honest with y'all, I would say that this season right here is better than the first season of Game of Thrones. Damn! Why are you in my father's hall? I really didn't think they was gonna show it this episode. 
Yeah, you gotta fight dirty, because I don't even know if he's a better fighter than uh, Serlaino. This will cost Lord Corliss and Princess Rhaenys their only remaining child. That's messed up, bro. Oh my god. They will fear what else we might be capable of. So y'all gonna be the downfall of y'all house, bro. I knew something like that was gonna happen too. Obviously, if y'all did all this stuff back to back, then yes, it looks very sus. Now, I didn't know that this was gonna happen. You already know they're gonna kill him. Oh yeah, they did fake his death. I knew it. I, I knew it. All right, that's cool. Uh, all right, I, I like that plan. Game of Throny Throng Throng Throny Bone. Yeah, I love this theme song and this intro a lot, but I wish that they would like have it speed up or show like a shorter version. Whose side are you on, bro? It's been near six years since I last saw my Lord Husband, Maester. So we jumped six years. The, fighting, the wound was severe. Much blood was lost. I can already tell she's gonna become ruthless, man. She just lost basically her whole damn family. Only thing she got left is her grandkids. So it's been a total of like over 20 years that they've jumped for this first season. Oh, what are you mining, Dookie? What is that? Oh, they're pregnant. He means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. To King's Landing, then. Why would y'all come here, bro? You already know tension is gonna be freaking high through the roof. <laughs> Seem like that traveling has took a minute. Cause it seemed like she got a little bigger. Father. That was a good shot right there. I like that. I like that shot too. Oh my God, man, this dude looking like a ghoul. How are you still alive? That's a strong man right there. Yeah, with him dying, I can understand. He he don't give a damn about all that drama anymore. I'm here with Damon. I've been in a somewhat similar situation. You don't never want to see your brother in a situation like this, bro. It brings all the emotions out. And when I'm talking about like a similar situation, you know, seeing them in a vulnerable situation, like in a hospital bed or something. The sea snake has taken a grave wound in battle in the Stepstones. There is a, there is a petition to decide upon the succession of Driftmark and the heir to the Driftwood throne. I love his performance right here. He can't even look at his brother. He doesn't even really want to look at his brother. There's someone we wish to introduce you to. Man, you think a little kid wants to see this dude, brother? Probably give him nightmares. This is Egon. Also, they've already had two kids. Now they about to have another one. Damn. So they got a total of seven kids. I asked him to stop. Your guys, you must believe me. <laughs> what, he, he, he craped her? I believe you. <laughs> yeah, but what are you gonna do to this girl, though? Cause you know you're gonna do whatever it is to protect your kids. I haven't told anyone. You told Sir Eric <laughs> and Talia and now me. They might think you were trying to besmirch the prince, or worse, that you're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. Damn, that's messed up. And I know this was happening a lot probably back in the day in medieval times, man. Yeah, what type of dirty water is it? That sound thick. It's best to be certain. Damn, that's messed up the woman that she became too. Wow. The character development for all these characters has been fantastic, bro. Get up. I hope it's not poison. Egon! I hope it's not gonna kill her. Get up! Uh, I ain't trying to see this dude booty cheeks, bro. Diana. Hmm? Hit him with that uh, lamp go. thing. Hit him upside the head. She didn't need to go get upset about it. Think of the shame on your wife. Oh, he's married. Okay. Special on a day like today. Why? What is it today? There you go. Slap the shit out of him. But you should have hit him with that lamp thing too. You are no son of mine. Damn. Yo, there's a lot going on right here at the beginning of this episode. This is the dude that was beating his meat over the city, right? No one would question me being heir to Driftmark. If only they had hair dyed back in the day. They could dye their hair white. <laughs> 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 
Yo, that's crazy, man. This dude came a long way from being a little scared kid, a little weird kid. He's definitely somebody to be afraid of now. Nephews, have you come to train? Yo, that dude looks insane, man. See, now they got me interested in these kids, man. Especially Allison's kids. I can tell her one son with the eye patch is probably gonna be way worse than Damon. She, she got them edges laid. Okay, I see you. I loved your son. Oh, come on, you gotta do you better acting than that. Come on now. I, I did not order his death. She think everybody believes her bullshit. No, it's Rhaenyra, father. And if you don't let this skeleton sleep. You told me it was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. No, no, don't put it on him. Don't do that. That's you. You did that by being a hoe and not freaking following your duties properly like you should have. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me and my children. <sighs> That's dirty. You really come to your dad on this shit. Wow. This dude is like basically on his deathbed. I can't understand why she came to him. I mean, he's the king. It's like you can see his bones or something, but of course that wouldn't happen. He would die. Oh, it just arranged the supper. God, yo. The CGI right there was crazy. Reminded me of PETA from the Hunger Games. The makeup department has been doing a great job too. When the doom fell on Valeria, our houses became the last of their kind. Our she looked just like her mama. Knowing blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. As it does in my sons, the offspring of Lenor Valarian. Bro, we not dumb. Your kids are not light skinned, girl. They ain't an inch of tan on them kids. Talking about this, his nephew's kids. King Viserys of House Targaryen. But what an epic entrance. So he does look a little badass. This dude right here has blown me away. I was not expecting such a great performance from him, man. I wish at least somebody would have attempted to help him, but I already know he would have pushed him off. You don't want to take away from his moment. I will sit the throne today. Your grace. That was a great line, man. I said I'm fine. Motivational. Come on. That's the thing I love about Damon, man. The dude loves his family, no matter how much of a jerk he is. The Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons, Jace and Luke, to Lord Corliss' granddaughters. I will not allow it. I mean, he's a king. Allow it. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? That is no true Valarian. I don't know why he's just ignoring this whole thing, bro. Why don't y'all just lock him up, bro? Yeah, if he said the bastard word, he's probably gonna get killed. Bastards! And she is a whore. See <laughs> yeah, you dead, bro. Come on now. Why would you do that in his house? I will have your tongue for that. Oh, damn! Yo! He can keep his tongue. Disarm him! Many. <laughs> Golly, uh, David. Oh, uh, my God. Uh, Yo, he went on a whole nother level of keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Damn. They really just destroyed House Valerian, man. The disrespect. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, didn't he have any kids? It is ill luck to look upon the face of death. I think she's loving this. She wanted that to happen. Y'all gonna say anything or what? Oh, How good it is to see you all tonight. Like I said, man, he's at that point where he don't really care anymore. He just want his family to be together. The faces most dear to me in all the world, yet grown so distant from each other. Right about that. There's so many bonds right here that can't be rebonded, man. Oh, I was hoping we was gonna see his face. I ain't really trying to throw up, but I am interested. Oh, shit. Oh. My own face is no longer a handsome one. 
Was it ever handsome? Oh, snap. He is. Like, you can see bones and shit. Boy, like Toothpaste. The crown cannot stand strong if the house of the dragon remains divided. If not for the sake of the crown and for the sake of this old man. Yo, this dude is freaking killing it, bro. This monologue is freaking beautiful. I wish to raise my cup to her grace the queen. I must admit that no one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. And for that, she has my gratitude and my apology. Crazy how she said the word apology real quick. No, damn well, that stuff was not genuine. But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, all you have to do is ask. Bro, come on, bro. We just had a nice little family moment. <clears throat> Yo, kick his ass out, bro. To Prince Aegon and Prince Aemond, we have not seen each other in years, but I have oh. fond memories of our shared youth. Oh, he got up like, bro, if you try to throw them hands, we can throw them hands. So he changing his tune now. Just to see this man Viserys happy, bro. That's all that really matters. Damn, that shit about to make me cry, bro. Love this music. So, uh, don't tell me he's about to die right now, bro. If he dies right now, that's definitely gonna have me cry. I already know all that stuff was just a front just to make him happy. As soon as he leave, y'all gonna be hating each other again. Let us drain our cups to these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? Do you not think yourself strong? What are you doing? He ate that shit. He wanted this to happen, bro. He's like, about damn time. He said, now nah, I got a reason to kill y'all. Okay. It's been quite a night at the castle, Sims. The heck is this girl got That's planned? Lady. The prince. Prince Egon. This is how Jon Snow came to be. Jon Snow is one of Rhaenyra's offspring. It is you. You are that one. Oh, oh, he talking about something else. All right, yeah, he, he's he's out of it, okay. But I mean, that might still be true though, because even though I haven't seen season eight, I got spoiled that Jon Snow is a Targaryen. I understand my king. <sighs> He's a brunette, and Rhaenyra's sons are brunettes. Oh, my love. I don't know if that was his last breath or something, but RIP if this dude Viserys did die. But this man right here, Patty, has done a tremendous job, bro. Can't believe I really cried though, man, because I thought he was probably gonna die right there in the table. But nah, the, the real reason I cried is because, you know, seeing him go through all this BS and then finally getting some happiness after everything he's been through, that was cool, man. <laughs> You know, it's crazy. I've watched nine episodes of this show so far, and I don't even think I've asked y'all this question. How many books has this dude, George R.R. R. Martin, has written? And which one is your favorite? You're sure? <laughs> Stay here. Tell, tell no one. Well, it's nice to know that she actually cared for this man because uh, they were sleeping in the different beds for I don't know how long and they kept distance from each other sometimes. So this, so it hasn't been a time jump. So who was that kid? Who knows? Shit, who doesn't know? Some of the servants. You could just tell by that man's appearance, man. That time was up. He told me he wished for Egon to be king. You a damn liar. Wow. She would say something like that. His last words to me and I was the only one to hear it. I mean, he didn't really say that though. Come on now. She twisted that man's words, but I understand. <laughs> what is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead. Damn, I know you feel shitty now. His son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. It's a crazy world we live in, man. I know they probably did this a lot back in the day in real life. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning to install my son without me? Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? Whether it was one of you, I care not. I will have no Sit part! Down! Did you just kill this man? Yo! What the heck was that? That was unnecessary. Lord Commander Westerling. 
No, do not have this mentally unstable dude be the Lord Commander. I have no place here. He's the only one that has a good heart. Golly, we start the episode off with just this immense weight and tension. And I love this music too. It fits this so perfectly. Pickle must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. Everything you feel for me is your queen. I will not fail you. I don't know how why she said that. Seemed like they got something going on. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Meaning what? Just tell me, bro. How you've grown. Oh, that's who he lost his virginity to? That's gross. Yuck. She already know she gonna remember him. He must have threw it down. House fell. Keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. I don't think that they're gonna kill him though, because that will really cause some problems. They'll have to go to war or something. Long live the king. <laughs> that boy had to throw in something extra. Desire who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. Because you definitely shown yourself. You grew up a lot, man. You proved yourself. We are decent men with no taste for depravity. His secrets are his own. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. <laughs> I'm starting to like this dude, man. I can't wait to see what more he's capable of. I can take you to Prince Egon. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. I'll tell you for a price. Well, I don't trust this girl. I think she's gonna set y'all up. I'm, I'm not really trying to see somebody die right now, man. There's so much going on. I don't know if I can take it. Oh, oh, thank you. Where were you going then with such urgency? I had to go home, you feel me? I think I left the oven on. Let go of me! No. You did well. And then my duty, my lord hand. Yeah, you know, I'm King Snitch over here. I'm always snitching. I love the soundtrack for this episode, man. Every shot they've shown of her standing next to this window has been fantastic. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Believe it or no, Egon will be king. I came here to ask your support. Anything Credit to protect you your, your kids. Now, I want to ask y'all that. Would y'all go the route that she's going, or would y'all continue to let Renera step onto the throne? Says Renice, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. It's in the name of peace that you've imprisoned me. Without your dragon, she may be persuaded to negotiate. She, so the way that she's going about this whole thing, I think it's going to make it more possible for Renera to attack them. If she would have just came up to Renera and told Renera, hey, your father has passed and he said this, even though Renera probably wouldn't have believed it. And I really don't think that's what he said either. She probably just misunderstood what he said. I don't think Renera would have attacked the city. See, and also the way that you and your dad going about this whole thing of trying to get people's loyalty to you, it's just, it's not right, man. And it makes y'all seem guilty and make it seem like y'all lying. Have you never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne? Heck no, so I can get the disease like Viserys? Nah, I'm straight. They need to sanitize that damn throne. My friend. My condolence is on the passing of your king. Damn, that's crazy, bro. So one of them betrayed him. And this girl, she built herself up. That's inspirational. Did you install your grandson on the throne? It was me who put him there. There is no power but what the people allow you to take. Now, I don't even know what to do with this girl. I Like, if it was me, I wouldn't know if I would want to kill her. Because, like, you trying me right now, and you really don't have the amount of power that I have. Or I don't know if I should make her an ally to make myself more powerful. I do regret this, friend. My God, bro. We just had to cause a scene. Where's his brother at? His brother just gonna leave him out there? You ain't gonna help him? Oh, you just gonna watch the whole thing. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Ah. Why are you spit at me? I'm your brother. Come on, man. Where's your brother, huh? Let me go! Wow, we having two brother disputes going on right now. You just gonna leave your brother? I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty. I'm not suited. So you get no argument from me. I will find a ship and sail away, never to be found. 
it's, it's tempting. It really is. She seemed like that's accurate. The younger brother seems to always be taller than the older one. I hate that, man. Anyway, at least nobody died. None of this is a game. And yet you treat it as one. We've relied on one another these many years, and now it is the good of the family that we both desire. I don't even know what different sides you're on. I mean, I, I really want to know what her father was going to do. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. What are we doing right now? Are we doing strip truth or dare or something? So he has a foot fetish. <laughs> Of course he has a foot fetish. I'm not kink shaming nobody because having a foot fetish is pretty tame actually compared to other stuff. It's just the way that he's going about this whole thing is like weird. She got some chubby feet. Talia. They are more like her. Even I do not know their number. I know there's probably a lot of people loving this scene. Ali probably been doing this for years, bro. That is just sick. With me, princess. Who is this? And was that the, the the white flower or whatever her name is? The white worm? Something? I, if it was her, I knew that they was gonna do something like that. Cause she really put her life in danger with what the heck she was doing. She thought she was about that life. Thought she was a shit. Really, she can't, she can't just stand by the wall and just let people pass her? Golly, all she wears is green? I understand that's her family's color for like war or something, but like, come on now. With his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. He can see past that BS. See, I need to be careful with that. I could probably freaking cut this dude Achilles. That's she, I'm trying to call this dude Aegon the Conqueror. Y'all don't want this dude over here limping. I wonder why they chose the name the Conqueror. <laughs> Bro, who coughing up in this bitch? Better cover your damn mouth. That shit was loud. May the crone lift her shining lamp and light his- Ah, I like what she's doing right there. Yeah, fly your weight out of there. <coughs> Golly, girl, you keep coughing. If you don't take your sickly ass on somewhere. <laughs> Shoot, I like Viserys' crown better. That crown look whack. Oh, they got different crowns for like different personalities. Okay. Don't worry, man. You might have your chance. I know it probably stink up in there. They got all them peasants up in there. That's why they get the door still open. Ooh, great shot. I love shots like that. Why don't y'all just go out the doorway? Y'all trying to freaking break down this damn gate. They had it look like Rhaenyra for a second, bro. <laughs> thought she was probably gonna set him on fire. You play too much, girl. <laughs> Ooh! That's a Targaryen right there. Damn. This is supposed to be his day and you disrespect him like that? How is anybody supposed to take this man serious now? I do wanna to apologize to anybody if I have misunderstood some stuff. I haven't read the books or anything like that and this episode was good. Listen to the podcast, y'all. I'm not really into podcasts. Now, how many of y'all would say that this is y'all favorite show of all time, man? The sea snake is going to die, isn't he? Luke, I can't be I thought times. he was already dead. Grandsire was the greatest sailor who ever lived. I get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor. You probably need to stop eating before you get Raymond. on the ship. Grandsire, let you choose whether you be his heir. Why don't y'all have your Targaryen babies actually be the heirs? In time, I came to understand I had to earn my inheritance. Like you still you. haven't done that, but okay. Not, way. Not so perfect. 
and yeah, he, yeah, he's a bastard. But that's that's his nice way of saying it. The Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. Man, you having another baby? This is recovery. Viserys is dead. Hmm. I thought she would have reacted a little bit more uh, dramatic than that. Aegon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> oh, she's more worried about that than her dad. Okay. The High Septon crowned Aegon in the dragon. Why every single time she mentioned that up? It's like your baby kicks. That whore of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne and you could have burned them all for it. Yeah, yeah, you could have. It's like to be fought over this treachery to be sure. You could have ended it instead of us having to risk other people's lives. But that war is not mine to begin. What do you mean it's not yours to begin? You're a Targaryen. <laughs> Damn, she's having a miscarriage. It's probably from stress or something. We've done this five times before. <laughs> Keep your spirit in Five <laughs> times? Golly. <laughs> that shit like a cave now. She dealing with too much. <laughs> What was that? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be better. Kratos said that. You could have died, man. Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. Naught is to be done but by my command. Where are your other kids at? The sea snake's fever is broken and he has left even for. Oh, so he's alive. That's what's up. Well, y'all need to tell his wife that. Do you recall who King Viserys named as his heir before his death? Princess Rhaenyra. I'm grateful for your long service to the crown. So I'm presenting you with a choice. <laughs> I got the dragon coming in too. Like, hey, yeah, I'm here to help y'all make that decision. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Oh, I love this show. If you support the usurper, speak it now. Then you will have a clean and honorable death. If you swear fealty now, only to later turn your cloaks, know that you will die screaming. <laughs> Golly, bro. Love this man, Damon, man. Matt Smith has been killing it. I gotta see more of his work. I did not know he was this good of an actor. I think Renera is about to die, man. Oh, don't have the baby fall on the ground? Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew it was a miscarriage. Please, oh, you showing too much. Oh my God. Oh, yo, the skin wasn't even fully developed yet. You can see the brain. Yo, they going through too much right now, man. I don't even know how they could deal with it. Please stop showing this baby. Where's her other kids at? I thought her and Damon had multiple kids. Aren't y'all supposed to be watching the perimeter? How did he get on the island? I love that shot, bro. Father, no children. I shall guard her secrets. I heard the scene where Matt Smith helped Viserys up the stairs and grabbed his crown was improv. So it was really nice to see him look at that crown and you could just see the emotion in his eyes. She looked good with that crown on. It was almost emotional as Return of the King with Aragorn, man. Come on, girl. We need you to kneel too, you feel me? Support your family. I wonder how long it took for the Targaryens to get back into power. I know they say that this story took place like a hundred or something years before the Mad King, which he was a Targaryen, but I was wondering if there were any other Targaryens before him, because I don't remember Game of Thrones that much. We shall pray for both you and your husband's support, just as we prayed nightly for the sea snake's return to good health. And who is to ride them? Dragonstone has 13 to their four. I love this scene, bro. This whole scene is just feeding my interest when it comes to like Mountain Blade and Total War. Here we go again. Where is the princess? Well, that answers your question right there. I will land right behind them so they have nowhere to go. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't got nowhere to go. I wonder if they brought a dragon with them just to be ready. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. 
King Aegon Targaryen, in his wisdom and desire for peace, is offering terms. His name Aegon is Aegon the Conqueror. You're talking about he wants peace. He was anointed by a septon of the faith before the eyes of thousands. I mean, a lot of those people are and dead, though. Stark, <laughs> Tully, houses that have also received and are at present considering generous terms. You held him hostage, though. Queen Allison does not. Why would she them. give me this page like this is gonna mean anything? F that bitch. <laughs> when dragons flew to war, everything burned. I do not wish to rule over a kingdom of ash and bone. Are you considering the High Tower's terms, Your Grace? All you gotta do is just attack one building, and then when y'all come out of nowhere, they're not gonna be ready. The enemy have declared war. What are you gonna do about it? Exactly. She ain't ready for it, man. Clear the room. Man, here she go. Now you got you a crown and you think you the shit. Really? You gonna talk to me like this? I'm older than you. I know how to go about this whole thing. Even though when I was doing war, we was losing. But still. A song of ice and fire. What? Viserys shared it with me when he named me. <laughs> Yo, you can't be putting your hands on the queen like that. Yo, what's going on, Damon? Chill out. All you have to say is, just, hey, man, I heard that story plenty of times. I don't like that story. Baylor and Raina needed you, and you abandoned us for more adventure at sea. Well, I'm glad we get to see a scene between these two. I really thought he was dead. Everyone. Your brother is also dead. Heedless ambition has always been a Valarian weakness. Well, I'm glad that you're starting to understand that because you almost died. And that's one of the things that I always tell certain people. They know a family member or somebody that acts a certain way and they don't like it. I'm like, the only way that they could change is if they experience near death. But all of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower. As did you, Lord Corliss. <laughs> Got you there. Y'all gonna stop freaking embarrassing this girl, even though she don't know what the hell she's doing, but still. Your father's realm was one of justice and honor. This high tower treason cannot stand. You have the full support of our fleet and house. I wonder what his wife thinks about this. I wish to know who my allies are before I send them to war. You wanna know their favorite color and shit? The narrow sea is ours. <laughs> oh snap, that's what I'm talking about, boy. I should take Maylis and patrol the gullet myself. I'm talking about get the family together. Prince Lucerus will fly south to Storm's End and treat with Lord Boros Baratheon. You're gonna have them go by themselves? I really thought there was gonna be like some type of retaliation happening this episode, but yo shit, hearing that theme song. <laughs> yo, I think this is the first time like actually hearing the theme song without any type of remix or something. Damn, I knew that was gonna be the end of the episode. Oh, it's not? Oh, I was about to say, that's a good way to end it, but I was hoping there was gonna be more. I think Damon is gonna start something. I think this dragon right here that's gonna pop up is gonna be probably the biggest one that we've seen so far. It's like their eyes matched right there. Ha, <laughs> they're already there. Can't show him no fear. Where's the bloody maester? You can't read, sir? You're just a freaking messenger. Chill out. And they can't attack you because you're a messenger. If they attack you, that's an act of war. King Aegon at least came with an offer. My swords and banners for a marriage pact. If I do as your mother bids, which one of my daughters will you wed? Uh, can we, can we do that? So, Renera and Damon don't have any kids? I will not fight you. I came as a messenger. Just turn around and go, bro. I want you to put out your eye. It's payment for mine. Yo, that right there is crazy. Put a jewel in as a replacement for your eye. Just walk away. He can't force you to do anything. Give me your eye, or I will take it, boss. Not in my hall. Take Prince Lucerus back to his dragon. Now. Golly, I, I had a feeling some drama was gonna happen. Damn, leave him alone, bruh. That boy dipped off quick, bro. He waiting for you to get up into the sky so y'all can fight. 
I've been like, nah, I'm good. Can I stay here tonight? This dude is about cocky as hell. He's really gonna freaking cause more destruction. He's gonna cause war right here. Should you even be flying that high? That's dangerous to be flying there with the lightning, man. Damn, that dragon is huge. And that's messed up because that's not even his. That was not a quick turn, bro. Yo, the CGI right here is fantastic. Yo. I can't believe the dragon really did that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That dragon said, fuck all that. Well, that's the end of season one. Season two is gonna be, oh, it's not the end. Attack <laughs> every single time I think it's the end, it's not. Yeah, that dude's scared of what's about to happen. He just couldn't leave stuff alone, bro. And I didn't even know that your dragons could just do what they wanted. Yo, help her. She, she looks like she about to pass out. You don't want her falling on that concrete. I love how they shoot in this right here. <laughs> they just made her angry as fuck. She about to come in blazing. <laughs> oh, shit. What a season. This show is fire. Damn, that's messed up that the kid had to die. I knew something was going to happen to one of them. I didn't think something like that was going to happen, which I would say that was even way more exciting and badass than what I was originally thinking. I thought they were just going to get captured by whoever they were going to visit, you know, or maybe something was going to happen where they got killed by whoever they was going to visit by some type of misunderstanding or something. But yeah, <laughs> that girl Renera is about to turn into Daenerys because you know that girl Daenerys, she don't don't play <laughs> oh my goodness okay everybody there we go with season one of house of the dragon i really hope y'all enjoyed watching this season with me you enjoyed this video you know please like share comment down below subscribe click the bell so you know when i upload my videos and follow me on all my social medias the links will be down in the description below another link that's in the description below is my patreon where you can see my full length reactions to this season any other tv shows i do and the movies that i do i, I love this show i love the season this is definitely one of the best shows i've ever seen i'm giving this show an a plus well i'm giving this season an a plus they did so good when it comes to the acting the directing the soundtrack was good the cinematography was good the effects were fantastic uh, the story which is so intriguing they the tension almost every episode was building and building and building when it comes to the tension and even though there was a lot of episodes where it wasn't really a lot happening when it comes to the action there still was a lot going on when it comes to the characters interacting with one another and just playing the game of thrones and you having that tension i loved what they was doing when it comes to the time jumps uh i would love to know who is your favorite character when it comes to this whole season now i don't read any of the books okay so i don't know what's gonna happen in season two i'm real excited uh i don't really want to know what's gonna happen in season two if you have read the books but i know there's some people that might have like some theories or whatever but with all of you and said everybody i'll see you on the next one all right peace